Well, good morning, everyone. It's 6.42 a.m. It's got the uh, TV on, some quite nice little music to try and wake yourself up to. And uh, look at this for a view. We've uh, just been watching the sun come up, the sunrise. Doesn't look like there's any animals out and about yet, but uh, either way, still gorgeous views this morning as the sun comes up. Absolutely stunning. Excited for today. So we're up nice and early. We're going to be uh, going in for early park entry for half past seven at Animal Kingdom. So it normally opens at eight. We get to go in a little half an hour early, which is uh, pretty good. We'll get ourselves in probably to uh, Avatar, I think. Yeah, gorgeous. Well, it even smells lovely out here. Even smells really lush. So yeah, slept really, really well. No mad noises or anything. It was, uh, it was lovely, really good night's sleep actually. So pretty soon I think uh, all the animals will come out, they start coming around and putting the feed in the giraffe things and everything, so all the giraffes will come out. But uh, not quite yet this morning, we are up very early though, so it's gorgeous out here though, isn't it? Laura's now joined us, Laura's now ready. Have you noticed the new shirt? You know, we're gonna have to get a picture of these, aren't we? I know. Good, aren't they? They are, they're super cute. I mean, the quality's not there, but... I think the, the quality's comfortable. The only thing is the arms are cut. I think they're, like, generic, so they don't really make men's and women's, so I'm used to having longer arm, longer sleeves. But I'm enjoying it. Good though, aren't they? Good fun. These were um, $30 each, but if you bought two $30 shirts, they were $5 off each. That was a Disney deal. And then we got our 30% annual pass discount on top of them as well. So, so I think $20 each. Worked out like $20 each, yeah. Good deal. Yeah, so, not bad. So, we'll get a couple of pictures in these, but we're going to hit the road now yeah. and uh, get ourselves into Animal Kingdom. Oh, then we'll we. be back here for 10 o'clock for um, our breakfast. So, we're only going in for a couple of hours, only going to do like two rides or whatever. But it'd be good to see the crowd levels for early entry because uh, we've never ever done it before at Disney. So, We'll see what the crowd levels are like, get a couple of things done, and then come back and enjoy the resort and enjoy your breakfast. Well, we're up so early. We're up with all the, the people washing stuff down and everything. Pretty early there. <laughs> they keep everything pristine on here. Oh, yeah. Every Disney resort's the same. He's just out there blasting off the walkways. Make sure we get nice entrance and exit. Yeah, it's really good. I just like the general atmosphere at, here at this resort, just getting out. That's the, the theme with the jungle and the, it's, it's just a nice thing to walk out to, the nice soft music. So I'm parked down here, it was quite busy the car park last night when I parked. Uh, really busy actually. You see it's all quite full. So I can see why they're so strict on people coming in with the cars because although they don't mind you being in the resort and spending money parking wise there's not that many free spaces for the guests so i can see why they do it yeah, look at that i do feel like i'm in a completely different country oh, at some yeah. at some points i do feel like i'm genuinely in africa well, sometimes yeah that storm was pretty cool pretty cool i enjoyed the hot tub as well it was boiling hot but it was nice, but it was it was nice, nice yeah tub, very relaxing So we're all parked up, we managed to get the end of a row, so we're Unicorn 209, I think, right on the end of a row, there's not even any monorails running, we're, we're uh, parked that close, we're going to head on in, it's currently 20 past 7, so 10 minutes, oh, Everett Notons for the early entry, oh, I'm looking forward to this gorgeous morning as well, I'm going to go straight to Flight of Passage, yeah. and we'll see how long the queue is. First thing with early entry, how long is the queue? That'll be the question. So I can't see anywhere that is specific for early entry. It's a bit of a free for all in here. There's no separate line for early entry or anything like that. So I don't know whether they check them inside the park or they don't let you on any rides unless you've got it, but it's a little bit of a free for all here at half seven. 
and uh, there's no particular lines everyone's just piling in so interesting do they really check early entry might appear or as you begin a day of adventures in disney's animal kingdom so just as you come into the park there is a checkpoint where they do scan your uh, magic band or check your room card so we've just done that so there is a checkpoint just through inside the park so this is everyone here for the early entry so uh, just bear that in mind there is a checkpoint Here we go then, straight to Flight of Passage. And if that is the queue, I am not joining it. <laughs> wow, I don't think Flight of Passage is gonna be an option today then. Wowee. That is a long line already. This is early entry. This is just resort guests and our line is already pretty long. Wow. Well, there you go then, early entry is very, very busy. Very busy indeed. Uh, Fire Passage already an hour wait. And we're only 15 minutes into early entry. And a queue all the way outside as well, that's nuts. Very, very busy indeed. It seems everyone just comes in for the early entry anyway. Oh well, we're going to Everest and things, it's a much lesser wait. Thankfully, we have done Fire Passage this trip, so we certainly can't complain. We're going to queue up for a little picture opportunity now, I think, in our matching chair. Yeah, okay. Then we'll go over to Everest and do some other little bits, I think. So, as we head over to Asia, I think my advice would be for early entry, if you're going to do it, if you're going to get up, try and get in early, I would be waiting in the line to get into the park, probably half an hour to 20 minutes before that early entry time starts. So today, it started at half seven. Uh, we should have been in the line waiting to come in at seven, I reckon. Then the minute they let you in, you go straight to your favorite ride, get it done. I think coming in at half seven doesn't really work. It doesn't make much of a difference, really. You're gonna beat mainly, maybe the main crowds, but the resorts are all full. It's very busy anyway. So yeah, that would be my advice. Get yourself in the line half an hour before uh, it opens so you can get yourself right in and just beeline straight for the ride you're going for there. Probably for this park, Flight of Passage. But we'll enjoy, I think it'll be a straight walk on for Everest. Everest is right the far side of the park, so this will be a straight walk on. This will have no line, this. Could do this over and over if you wanted. And when you come round Everest area, I would take your time, just slowly walk through and look at all the details. Especially if you come early morning like this, you can see so much more without the crowds. I've never ever noticed the little sort of shrine up there, the detail everywhere, all the garlic hanging. Detail everywhere is amazing, especially in the queue line as well. Never ever seen that before, all the little logs on the back of the bike, because normally this area is just full of people waiting it's nice to take in some of the extra details. Oh, I'm ready for an expedition, Laura. Let's get ourselves on. Do you fancy a uh, Yeti tea instead of a Starbucks, Laura? <laughs> Struggling a bit this morning. Yeah, we've been here three weeks today since we arrived. Three weeks we've done. So yeah, you do start to get a little bit tired towards the end, don't you? So like I said, straight walk on. They're even sending carts around, half empty. Straight walk on. Nothing like an early morning ride on Everest to wake you up, Laura. This will certainly get you going.
thing in the morning. It's gonna get you. This, when it goes backwards, it's not half quick. Intense to start the morning, someone just shouted back there, who needs Starbucks, I'm like, me. <laughs> oh, I need a coffee soon. Oh, oh, good way to wake up though. So there is even a new looking, I think this is new, this is uh, new to us, we've never seen this. We did show the Spirit jerseys early on in the trip as well, so this looks new. The uh, Expedition Everest Spirit jersey, we've only ever seen that one. Yeah, I like that one as well, Yeti for anything. That's not you though, Laura, because you're not Yeti for anything. <laughs> Always delayed. <laughs> yeah, that looks new there. I like it. It's cool. I like the writing for Everest on it. So, the second ride of the day. Don't know how many we're going to be doing, but we're going to go and do Dinosaur, which we haven't done this trip. Sky Ragasaurus. <laughs> I do like this one. Definitely not our dino. It's a good ride, it's not very good for younger kids. Oh, it's intense for the, for the kids, yeah. yeah but it's a good ride though. So we're going to do Dinosaur, which we haven't done yet this trip. And then we might end up just having a coffee, because we have got to be uh, back for breakfast at 10. So, but it was worth coming in, checking out the early entry. That would be my advice that I'd give to you. Be here well before early entry even starts. But uh, the rest of the park is nice, but if you want to do Avatar, particularly for Animal Kingdom, you're always you're always going to face a bit of a wait but if you can get here and be one of the first in the park then you you're absolutely sorted and then you can be over here riding this as a straight walk on it's uh, so it would be worth it you've got to be here early though uh, even earlier than eat than we were here so yeah i'm going to take uh, laura back and put her back with all the dinosaurs put you back back on the ride sky rackasaurus laura <laughs> It is a good ride, this one. What will happen with Dino Land? Does anyone know? It's going to be interesting to see what they uh, come up with, what they put in this area. How quiet it is. Hello. Heaven, this side of the park, yet. heaven. Everyone just goes straight for Avatar. Avatar, yeah. This whole side of the park. Heaven right now, if you wanted all your pictures and, you know, little clips. Everyone wants TikToks and Reels and Instagram and stuff now. Now's your time to be doing it. Empty. Well, Dino Land doesn't even look like it's open yet. No. All of this is all closed up. I do miss my primeval well. That was really oh, good fun, that ride. Fun, that yeah, it must have been high running costs because they've, they've taken it down and not put anything in its place yet. Can't wait to see what they do with this whole area. But yeah, they removed the ride well over a year ago now yeah. and nothing's replaced it yet. I enjoyed that ride. Right, dinosaur time. There you go, Dino Land. Hey, Laura. <laughs> and nothing, nothing bad. Just gonna say. That's your face when I say Starbucks. That's you, isn't it? When I say Starbucks, that's you turning around going, hey, did you say Starbucks? <laughs> that, that's it, isn't that the place you pull? <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Marsh, director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old way in the past. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. The smell in here always reminds me of Horror Nights. Yeah. Always reminds me of HHN, the smell in here. It's like a burning, smoky smell, isn't it? Like a... Yeah. yeah. Like a mix between smog and smoke. And like, burning. This is Seeker. Listen up. 
We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Identify! Carnotaur. Mission accomplished. You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I'd better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! Hello there. <laughs> you can get the little dinosaur puppets. Funny, we did come back with one additional pack passenger, extra large as well. Me. <laughs> After that cruise and this trip, some good dino merch in here. If you like all your dinosaurs, or you've got the kids that love the dinosaurs, I'm kind of a big deal. I don't, don't you wish the parks were this quiet all the time though? We just walked on. Straight on that, straight off. Gift shop's empty, you can have a proper look around. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Would be nice. There's a question for you all then. Question of the day. Excluding sort of fast passes and things, would you pay extra to come into a park on a day where it was like heavily number restricted? Yeah. So rather than having a fast pass system, it's never gonna happen, it's just, you know, out of curiosity. So if you could pay extra and come in and there'd only be like 5,000 guests in here, would you pay like double the ticket price? Yeah. You would. Let me know in the comments, everyone, would you pay double the ticket price to have the park half empty? I Interesting. Would you? Um, I think as a one-off treat, yeah, I'd have to really oh, yeah, pick my favorite treat. park though. Couldn't do it all the time. I'd have to pick like a park where there was loads of rides I wanted to do and yeah. stuff and then maybe not go there for a little while so you were desperate to get on everything. But yeah, maybe, yeah, probably would, yeah, I think. Because it'd be nice, not only are you getting on sort of rides quicker, but forgetting all of that, all the shops are quiet, you can take in all the details as you wander around, all the pathways are clear. It's, uh, you know, where all the buggies would normally be parked, you can see different things. So it's not just getting on the rides quicker like a fast pass, it would be everything all the food stands would be quiet be uh it would be heaven wouldn't it would be heaven well there is a few celebrities haven't they that have like paid to have the parks themselves isn't there i Didn't think like a bit, yeah i think there's been the odd like really early. in the odd few yeah where they sort of get a bit of a you can get the um the private tours as well they're expensive where a cast member takes you around and gets you on at the front and stuff but I like it quiet just everywhere though, not just the rides, because yeah, you can just take just everything in. Like yeah, there's heaven walking around like this, not dodging out of people's ways and stuff. Yeah, let me know on that on the comments. Would you pay double? Or would you prefer being in the hustle and bustle? Some people love the hustle and bustle of it all. I don't think anyone likes long wait times though on the rides, do they? So, Creature Comforts, of course, is a Starbucks for us. And we've come up with a bit of a plan. We've grabbed a coffee and we're going to go and head over to Africa, try and get on the Kilimanjaro safaris, which is only a, a 15 minute wait at the moment. And then that should take us nicely to half nine, leave the park, go for breakfast. That's the plan. Trying to get Laura awake with an extra shot in the coffee. You've been having extra shots in your Starbucks this I trip, know, Laura. I was saying last night, I'm going to struggle to go back home to Tenerife and I'm back with normal coffee. Yeah. Have normal coffee. I'll be back on my little uh, lechi lechis, which are little uh, Canary Islands coffees with condensed milk. I've got to say that I'm, I've missed them loads. I do prefer my Starbucks, really. But uh, it'd be nice to have those. They're only small as well, so I'll cut right back when we get back. Got to get on the old uh, after holiday diet. Gonna shift all that cruise buffet and all the rest of it. as we travel through the Harambe Wildlife Preserve. For your safety, as well as the safety of the animals, please remember to remain seated at all times, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the truck. If you're holding on to a phone, a camera, or a child, please hold on to them tightly. The roads do get pretty bumpy out here, and this is a real truck, and I am really driving it. And over to our left, this black and white bird, there are actually two of them. They are saddle-billed storks. They are the tallest storks in Africa, standing up to be about six feet tall. They get their name from that yellow saddle-like patch they have on their bills. Also over on our right-hand side are greater kudu. 
And we can tell that these are female greater kudu because they don't have horns on their heads. I can't see. Don't be afraid to let me know. Uh, there is a black rhino over on the left-hand side. He's a little bit behind us now. The black rhinos will live to be between 30 and 50 years old and will weigh around 3,000 pounds when they're full grown. And they have a V-shaped upper lip, which is prehensile, meaning they can wrap them around the leaves in the bushes to pull them off to eat. Over to our right, those are bongo. And both male and female bongo will grow those horns on their heads. And we can tell that those are female bongo because of their bright coat colors. The males are much darker. Male bob tree. Now it does look like it's upside down with its roots sticking up, but that's just because they remain leafless about nine months out of the year. And they are able to survive through long periods of drought by storing thousands of gallons of water in their trunks, which makes them very beneficial for animals who live out on the savanna, which is where we're headed next. In the case of an extreme drought, animals can pierce the bark of the tree in order to drink the water that's stored inside. And that is how it got its nickname, the Tree of Life. So now they are exploring. Now these are Maasai giraffe, we can tell because of their jagged spot patterns. Now these guys are so very cute, but also some of Africa's most successful predators with a 90% success rate in catching their prey, which is due to their high levels of endurance and intelligence. And that's compared to about the 40% success rate of a lion during their hunt, which does not stop me from wanting to pet them. Our baby zebra, which is actually nursing from mom right now. Now she blends in really well with her mom. Also over to the right, we have a few springbok grazing about. Also a mandrel over on the left. A mandrels are the largest monkeys in the world. And they have those blue and red markings on their faces as well as their bottoms that are gonna grow brighter the more excited that they get. And those bright colors will help to deter predators from attacking them, which is why they have them on both ends of their bodies. Now, elephants are the largest mammals on land, and they're going to weigh between six and 12,000 pounds when they're full grown. A full grown elephant can also eat around 300 pounds of food a day. So they do migrate regularly just to make sure there's enough food for the entire herd. If you look at the island that they're standing on, you'll see it's in the shape of Mickey Mouse. And on the porch, and on the tree stumps. <laughs> Brilliant, that. I love that safari. I learn something new every time I do it, and I see something new every time. Uh, the one that all. Yeah, a massive recommendation. If you want to do that safari, try and do it in the morning because the animals are out and about at the moment. Uh, a lot of them being fed their breakfast, stuff like that. Or when it's and it's raining. much cooler. Or when it's raining, we did it when it was raining on our last trip and we did well. But if you go on it, you know, midday, 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock, you're not going to see much because they're all hiding out in the shade, trying to stay away from the heat right at the back of the reserve. So definitely a recommendation to do it in the morning, even first thing if you can. We yeah, have quite a few, uh, quite a few facts from that. Including uh, the main one I took from that was there uh, about the cheetahs, the way they don't have um, they don't have retractable claws. The claws are always out. Claws are always out, so they can run faster, so a bit no like play, cleats. So no play play fight with the cheetah. No, no. Like it was a normal cat. Oh my God. There was a couple of elephants having a little bit of a barney as well. Oh yeah. She called it a morning spa session. <laughs> I think it was uh, it wasn't um, aggressive or anything, just a bit of a uh, play animals fighting, but it animals, was fun. Yeah. yeah. Really Great, great experience that is, really good. And uh, my sister took Jude on it, oh, and he yeah. absolutely loved it. She texted me saying he loved it, so great one for the kids. But we're going to head out now. It's a, not a bad little morning in the end. No, well. uh, we did Everest, we did Dinosaur, we got coffee, and we did the safari all by 20 past nine. So we're going to head out now, uh, meet up with the rest of the family as well, and get to breakfast. I'm looking forward to this Boma breakfast in uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah,
Yeah, we'll explore a little bit more of Animal Kingdom Lodge as well, show mum and dad a little bit more because uh, they haven't seen it in the daytime. There's lots more for us to see and show you, of course. So I'm looking forward to that. But I hope you have enjoyed the vlog so far. We're approaching the end of our uh, trip, unfortunately. We've got a couple of days left. Something very exciting coming tomorrow that we're uh, preparing for. But I hope you have enjoyed this trip. It's been a long one, lots of content. But I hope you have all enjoyed it. If you have, again, all we ask is just a thumbs up on the videos. Subscribe if you're new as well, if you haven't already. And hopefully we'll be back at some point this year, fingers crossed. But we've definitely uh, been blessed this trip with some of the things we've had and done. And yeah, it's been really, really good, hasn't it? It's been amazing. I've loved every minute of that. I've done so much as well. And more. I'm more than a thought we could ever do on a holiday, so I'm made up. Yeah, we've done a lot, yeah. done a lot. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've uh, taken some tips and things from it as well, some yeah, ideas, yeah. some uh, holiday inspiration of what you might like to do on your trip. We've got some characters rolling through, have we, on the boat? Sounds like. Or well, maybe it's just the, uh, yeah, I think they're on their way round now. So keep an eye on all these, all these rivers that run through where you cross over on the bridges because characters do come along here on boats. So keep an eye out, you cross these bridges along the way. And there you go with some, uh, as this is a band, but you do have characters, you have different things floating along on these boats like this. This is a cool little band just floating along, creating a good bit of atmosphere in the park. Yeah, just jamming away. Not a bad little job, is it? Jamming away on the boat in the sunshine around the animal kingdom. Very nice. Just in the shop now in Animal Kingdom, and I'm loving all this avatar stuff. It's so cute, especially that. That's adorable for kids. And of course, you've got your tails, your avatar tails, your avatar drums, your wings. Plenty of avatar stuff if you're into avatar. More for girls than boys, but still really, really good. And I'll go tell you what that is. If anyone knows, let me know, but I do not know. <laughs> what that is but he's soft and he's cute oh <laughs> so there you go so we've just arrived at boma then we're all excited for our breakfast We've let the server know that you're gluten free. You can also tick it on the app when you make the reservation that you've got an allergy. It just helps them make you prepared for, for you. Yeah. To make sure you're not left out so they already knew Laura was gluten free. Yeah. So it's buffet breakfast, but Laura will get some freshly prepared gluten free stuff as well, I think. What was the pancakes? Bread, bagels, pancakes, waffles. Um, I think I've muffins as well and donuts. So yeah, nice. Well, I'll be getting everything. Ooh, donut? You've not had a gluten free donut I for know, so yonks? I'm going to see what it's like. Just yeah. See. yeah. That'd be interesting. That. I've never seen you. I don't think I've ever seen you eat a gluten free donut. Um, ah, like uh, yeah, it was more. So yeah. Interesting. I think it's hard to make a donut, isn't it, with gluten free? Very hard, but. Very hard, yeah. Okay, so just to show you what they've got on offer here on the buffet breakfast. So we've got pork sausages, tater tots, proper American breakfast biscuits, which are the equivalent to like a UK scone. And you've got pancakes there as well, including uh, panikoek pancakes. I think they've got raisins in, I think. You've got your Mickey waffles, of course. Mickey and Simba shaped waffles there. All your different types of eggs scrambled. We've got a ham and cheese omelette, cheese omelette, and a Western omelette there as well. And then your nice bacon. The bacon looks amazing. Avocado grapefruit salad. Your different fruits as well mixed berry yogurts if you fancy something a little bit healthy you can go for one of those and there's like a little cold section here with your cheese ham these look interesting 
deviled eggs with smoked salmon just on there. You've got hard boiled eggs as well. All the chefs working hard preparing all the food. And you've got a couple more little sweets, little mini blueberry muffins. My dad will like them. And of course, I'll be going for a couple of the chocolate chip muffins, which look pretty good as well. And then further on, we've got uh, French toast uh, with bread pudding. That looks interesting. That's proper uh, African breakfast, I think that. Sticky buns, which is like a Thai, Thai bun, Thai bun. If anyone's tried these, let me know. Cinnamon rolls. And then your croissants, bagels with all your different spreads as well. Looks like Nutella, peanut butter. And you can make your own toast as well. So there's plenty of options to play around with. So in this other little hot section, look at the meat going around there with the flames, wow nice way to cook the meat so you've got oak grilled asparagus grilled tomatoes dad will be made up with grilled tomatoes creamy white cornmeal they don't often have tomatoes on the american breakfasts especially in the likes of ihop and perkins and things you've got a turkey dish dad might like that as well with egg in there and then this is indian and asian style sauce boma mustard and the carved ham so you can get the carved ham then you can get some of the different sauces to go with it. The ham looks amazing. The flame is behind it. And then these are all your different oatmeals. You've got different oatmeal, and you can put all the different little bits in there. Honey, raisins, banana. You know, look, how, look how nice that meat looks on there. Wow. Incredible buffet. So we've got fresh orange juice, and what's the other one, Laura? The signature drink, which is orange, passion fruit, and guava. Any good? Have you tried it? Yeah, it is, mate. So definitely. More orange juicy or? More guavery. Oh, okay. Oh, so mum and dad have joined us. Yeah. They're fresh back from their little rest in the villa. <laughs> Looking forward to your breakfast. Absolutely. I've seen some things on the breakfast, dad, that you're going to like. Really Starting off with some grilled tomatoes, oh, which look really good. No. And uh, also there's some nice looking turkey scrambled egg and bacon thing looking nice as well. They've also got ham that's on a constant rotator in front of flames, so you can have like carved ham with asparagus and things like that. Bring it Tell on. you're excited. <laughs> you got enough there, Dad? We've got what some tomatoes with breakfast. What else did you get? The turkey uh, egg thingy, egg thingy. Um, potato tops, and uh, oh, a cheese omelette to boot. Oh my god. Very healthy. You can go up again Very as well, you know. <laughs> Very healthy breakfast. Well, here's Laura's specialty oh, gluten free items. No. The donuts look amazing for you. I've never seen you eat donuts like that. Face. And then you can go up to the buffet. There is some gluten free stuff on there, but this is specific to the bread. It's all piping hot as well. They look good, them though. Well, I'm just going to film Laura's uh, options and mine as well. Laura's gone for some of the spicy African tomato stew. Because you like tomato soups, that should be... Uh, look at that meat, though. I can't get over the way they uh, they cook it like that. It looks amazing. This is what Dad got, the turkey babotti. South African dish with turkey, mushrooms and egg. It says it's like a cheese tart. Like a cheese tart. Looked more like a... Um, oh, yeah, you can see at the bottom. It looked a bit like a omelette to me. This is where we're up to, so I've gone for some chocolate chip pancake sausage. But you can come up multiple times though, so I'm not gonna overfill my plate. We've got some bacon here. Try and get some well done bits, Laura. I like it a bit more well done than that normally. I like it really crispy. Okay, well, breakfast all done. It was quite hard to film because we were all just sort of chattering away. But loads of buffet options. I ended up going three times. Love that you got so much gluten free. I got donuts, waffles, muffins, Bread, the lot. And, and you, still you said that was the menu. best breakfast you've had all holiday. It was amazing because the donuts are gorgeous. I just had a pick of everything because the allergen sheet's amazing as well. So it told me exactly what I could have and what I couldn't have, which was amazing. Yeah, I did like it. It was, and even though it was buffet, um, it was still very hot, very fresh. I would say it was. It, there was an overfill of stuff, and they were constantly cooking nice new stuff in the back. So. Although it's buffet and some people are put off by that, I would say it was still very fresh. It tasted just as fresh as when we did Polynesian on a previous visit and just as fresh as um, Grand Floridian as well. Yeah. But you're, still, but you're still being waited on, you're still being served. It, it felt 
the same sort of service as the Grand Floridian breakfast. Yeah. Only you just go and grab bits yourself. That was the only difference. Yeah, because the lady was still lovely. We got all drinks, all juices, everything. So it was amazing. Yeah, the lady 100% was lovely. Hundred percent would suggest doing it, even if you're not staying in the wilderness lodge. Book it in, and have, I just have a go. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was definitely worth it. A lot of you recommended it as well on Instagram and things. So thank you very much for that. It was a great recommendation. Really enjoyed it. I would slow as ever go and give it a try. Uh, one thing to note with the uh, door cards, we've been I've been using the phone the whole time. Even coming in through the front gate, I was using the phone. But with breakfast there, we did run into an issue because she said I can't really do anything with just a phone. You need a card to be able to have things charged. So although I'd already linked my credit card and things to the account, she needed the physical card to scan it in. So you probably still will need, even though if you use your little. Uh, phone to get in the room and stuff i'd still if you see the reception quiet just grab a card uh, because you will need it for breakfast and other little things and uh, the lady did say she was like keep that card with you because you will need it i said i'm checking out today anyway but it's good to know for future and um, the gratuity was also already included in that bill so it was 18 percent that was already included what was nice was we did get our annual pass discount so we got 20 percent off uh, which so was fifty dollars. So the bill was um the tip was free. Yeah, so we got twenty percent off, which is fifty dollars, and then the gratuity was eighteen percent. So the tip was sort of included in a way, but it was nice they gave us annual pass discount for that because yeah. it's not on all food, not like Universal where anything you buy, Disney's quite selective. So that was good. And uh, so now I'm going to check out the room. Unfortunately, very sad. Yeah. We've got to check out leave the gorgeous view, and um, we're going to go to back downstairs, meet up with the rest of the family. They're going to maybe sit by the pool for a little bit and. Have a little, yeah. buy a little cocktail and things. We'll see what happens. But for now, we've got to get checked out. We're slightly running behind on time. You'll see it's 11.20. Checkout is at 11. But obviously with the trouble with having to go for a card and stuff from breakfast, um, they gave me a one-time room card just to get back in the room to get our stuff. I said, this has delayed me and I'm, I'm going to be checking out late uh, because it's automatic. So once you hit 11, you won't get back in. So make sure you're out by 11 and you've got all your stuff. If not... If you're running a bit late, don't panic. Just explain it to reception. They'll give you a one-time card to get back in like we've got. It was the getting the card for breakfast and paying that was uh, what's delayed us. But yeah. we best pack up then. We'll like, let the cleaners get going and things in here. Not that we've left much mess. We've only been in here a few hours, really, on the grand yeah, scheme yeah. of things. We'll say goodbye to our Savannah view and we'll catch you downstairs. Oh, so sad checking out. So sad. But we've got to be very thankful that we had a lovely night here. And it made some nice memories with the family as well. It's not just the night we spent. It's not just the room. It's the coming to the resort and. I say I absolutely love this resort. You yeah. Now. And as I've said, there's nothing to stop you coming to the resort, respecting the rules, enjoying the facilities, buying a drink, having a little look around. Obviously, just be respectful. People staying here, etc. But you can jump on the bus to here uh, from Disney Springs. You can come and enjoy. A cocktail by the pool, stuff like that. Yeah, so, Moscow Mule, I got you. It was fourteen dollars, I think. But you said it was strong, so you don't mind if it's a bit bit pricey. But at least it's decent quality, yeah. decent strength. And uh, yeah, the room was spotless as well. So big, uh, big ups to the cleaners and maids and stuff. We've just absolutely loved it. Loved it. This whole floor five. It's all vacation club. So as I will leave that link in the description, uh, same as I did yesterday, for the uh, website where you can buy people's DVC points. I just love it, I think it's great. I think there's so much going on. There's enough chill spaces, there's enough lively spaces. We've still got, we've not even seen it all. We've not even seen some of the lodges or anything. Exactly, I mean, one night, you're just gonna sort of see the basics really, aren't you? And then the breakfast and food this morning was lovely. Again, one of the best breakfasts I've had. So I can see the big deal with people staying in the Disney Resort. It's just, you're going to pay the price, aren't you? Well, certain resorts, yeah. Certain yeah. resorts are a bit more chaotic, a bit more... Yeah. With, like, this is all because it's a bit, a bit more expensive. Um, yeah. People are a bit... This is more of a speciality resort with the amount of yeah. theming and the you facilities just, so, you've oh, got. I'm saying Disney, oh, that looks nice. I'll look yeah. that, you're like... I want to say Animal Kingdom Lodge, this is what I want to do, I'm doing it. Yeah. It's different. These aren't going to come up on your booking.com deals no. sort of thing. Um, but no, I can see that the hype around them, I can see why people love them. 
it would be interesting to stay a full week here and see if I felt the same. See after a, a few days, would I get a bit fed up in here or would I still enjoy it? Like with the cruise, they start off great and by the end of them, you're like, I want to get off now. So it would be interesting to stay a full week. But yeah, let's go down and meet the rest of the family. And I've got to ask reception about um, one of the payments linked to my account as well. I need to change the card and it's not letting me do it on the app. So don't be afraid to always ask reception with that. They are trained up on the app. They should be able to help me. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Just watch on, uh, watch down on reception. People coming, going, chilling, loving life. So, Dad, you're back. You're chilling at uh, Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom Lodge. I've got a question for you. I feel like I've been staying here. It's so nice and chill. The African music in the background. Just, nice, you know, isn't it? Lovely. lovely. So, my question is for you. Yeah. What would be if you've got? Uh, a, a family or a couple coming to Florida for the first time, coming to Orlando, you can give them two tips. Two tips? What would it be? Get a bank loan. <laughs> and a mortgage. Nice. <laughs> um, two serious tips two, or recommendations. Two serious tips. I, I would say you've got to book your passes. If you, if you, if you, Fans of the theme parks, which generally, if you're coming here, you are. Yeah. Get your deal back in England. Yeah. There's a don't be even thinking about buying theme park tickets here. Yeah. You will get a better deal. You must do the 14 day come and go pass. Yeah. It's the only way to do it. There is, there is, you may think, oh, well, I'm wasting days, you're not. No, you can there's, just pop in, no pop out. Even there. if you miss a few days, it still works out cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's your and tip a, number and one. Another tip would be eat in as often as you can. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because you get fed up of eating out, I, don't I you? I get fed up of eating out. Number one, uh, in particular, I, I hate walking into a restaurant and there's a an absolute, there's a line outside the door to check in, and they yeah. say we'll give, give come back in half an hour or whatever, and then you go in and it's it's basically. Same old, same old. I'm not. I'm just not a great fan of the whole eating out in in America. Yeah, I think not. to avoid all that, you eat early, don't you? If you can, and you must eat early. If you can eat, like you know, half five, six before people enough. start coming out the parks. Having said that, we were at Cheesecake Factory last night. I think it was six, six fifteen, and we were so lucky to get a table. The initial was come back in forty minutes. Then out the blue, they had a table. But there was a line outside the door. Yeah, you know? ram old. So, um, so yeah, eating out, I would say eat in as much as you can. There's no need to eat out. Make the effort. Well, it depends. If you're staying in a the hotel, then you've sort of got to eat out, really, haven't you? Or you've got to eat in the hotel. Oh, no if you've got a villa, yeah. cook a bit yeah. more in. We always say we're going to and never do, though, do we? No, never. I swore this holiday. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> You did? You swore blind that you were going to... But then I think I the buffet did you in. I was going to cook a curry. Yeah. You were going to cook a chilli. I was going to cook a chilli. We were going to do all kinds of things. And then just... But just I think the buffet ruined a lot of that. Because I think after boy, the cruise, you were buffeted out and you were just like, buffet give me out. some proper hot food. and. I don't want to go on about the buffet on the ship. Because it's just... You weren't the biggest fan, were you? One, first day, wow, look at the selection. Brilliant. Second day... <laughs> Oh, well, do yeah, that was nice. Third day, getting fed up now. I'm having turkey and mash for the third day running. <laughs> did get a little bit, didn't it? There wasn't much uh, variation. We did have there? nice meals uh, on the, uh, the Caribbean islands. Yeah, we did. That was nice. That I loved the nice. one on the one on St. Thomas was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice. Uh, we also, you went with us. Uh, before we got on the cruise, we were in Merritt Island, yeah, um, by the Port Canaveral, and we, that, that was a lovely little. Uh, that was an Airbnb with Sarah was family, and it had a, a fabulous bar from restaurants, Coco Coconuts, I think it was called. No, Dolphins. Dolphins, Dolphins. yeah. And we ate there that night, and that was nice. That was nice food. Nice. But as I say, eat in. Do yourself a chili. Go down to. Walmart or Publix, get your meat, get your mixers, knock a big panel, you're <laughs> laughing, you're laughing. Oh, and another tip is, goes with the food really, the drink, take your drinks out with you. 
really is where they save a lot of money on drinks on yeah drinks a lot of money we're sat here now around the pool beautiful resort and everything but literally a beer a bud light last night at the bar was like nine dollars yeah so it wasn't a pint either Why are you so just had a nice little swim and i'm enjoying one of the handmade chocolate covered marshmallows from the shop in Margaritaville that Sarah kind of picked me up. So we're just having to chill and relax mm -hmm. now until we go to Epcot later, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I'm excited to go to Epcot later. Who, are, who is it that's on? The Commodores. So the Commodores I'm, I'm excited for that, yeah. And they sing? Um, do I immediately like Sunday morning? Mm -hmm. Brick House, amongst others. So I'm excited. What's the other one that's doing? Well, three times a lady. Three times a lady. But it was really... Yeah, it was Lionel Richie though, mainly, wasn't it? Well, he was the Commodores. Mm. So we'll see them later. The Hopefully they'll be good. Making... Yeah, I don't think Lionel's going to turn up at Epcot, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're literally all just chilling here. It's so relaxing with that music you can hear in the background. It's adds Dedo. It just rolls around a little bit. He's absolutely passed out over there. Mum's enjoying a little read. So relaxing. So chilled. Oh yeah, just I've just been doing a bit of work, posting on the Sanasti page, the, my, that's my business back in Tenerife, been doing some emails, just catching up with work, it's dead chilled listening to that, nice breeze going by, lovely, yeah, in the shade, just relaxed, very chilled, so this is what we've been doing for the last couple of hours, there's not been much vlogging going on really, it's just been chilled, but we are heading off to Epcot in a little bit. We've got a lightning lane booked and paid for for Guardians of the Galaxy. Super excited for that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have a little mooch around. We're gonna have a little bite to eat in Epcot, I think. Yep. See what happens, see what uh, see what goes on. Go with the flow today. But it is nice, actually, just taking a couple of hours out. Just chilling. Well, sad times, we're heading out of Animal Kingdom Lodge. Did you enjoy your little visit, Mum? Very much so. Yeah, just Very been chilling so. by the pool, all haven't all you? The all the lights, all the, it's just perfect everywhere, isn't it, the theming? So you'd stay here in future then? Yes. Just have to save up, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> here becomes Animal been Kingdom's been new favourite uh, hotel. admirer. Just been to see, uh, say goodbye to the giraffes. Mm -hmm. Zebra, yeah. What do you say? See you next year. See you next year. <laughs> when you book in. <laughs> Animal Kingdom Lodge's new favourite uh, guests. The Garvies. <laughs> Mick and Janice. <laughs> I know. Well, I know the mats are nice, aren't they? And just the entrance and the exit and uh, just the, the lanai you come out onto and this big covered area. Would you know they get picked up and dropped off? <laughs> <laughs> and here we are then at Epcot. See the big ball as we head in. Very, very hot this afternoon. It's about 100 degrees as we're heading in. So the objective is to stay a little bit cool. We've got about two hours or so until our Guardian's Lightning Lane. So we're going to do a few of the kids' rides with Jude, I think. Maybe a little spaceship earth, maybe yeah. a little mooch around the shop. We want to have a bite to eat as well somewhere. Oh, we want to see the Commodores. Commodores if we can. Yeah. I'm fancying like a little chicken teriyaki skewer or something. You saw something in the Mexico one that you might fancy. Yeah, I might fancy that in the Mexico. We'll see. What are you going to have, Dad? Anything and anything? <laughs> well, after the breakfast in the um, Animal Lodge, Quite You're still pretty full, are you? I'm still pretty full, so I'm not really thinking food yet. Okay. Another hour or so. Hour oh, or yeah, so. not right now, but I'm just thinking ideas wise. I'm somewhere around food and wine, at wine, I think, would be nice. Why haven't you challenged me to or something? Well, I don't know if they do them in here, though, that's the problem. Oh, right. so I have. Have, to tomorrow, then. I have challenged Dad oh, yeah. to a, uh, a Disney turkey leg. Oh, they go right through me, they do. If you've had one before, or you've seen one, you'll know what I mean. A Disney turkey leg. I want to watch you devour one of them. No knife and fork. 
No, no, no. Oh, no. They go through me. Oh. They go through me. I must admit, that I, I'm, I'm hoping the taste of them is better than the look of them. Yeah. You know? I'm going to pull the meat off sinews and everything. <laughs> Uh, this would be my other big recommendation that I never ever mention is battery packs. Uh, I can't go without one, especially with them when I'm filming, but even my normal phone uh, does drop right down because you're constantly on the Disney app. You're always you know, on bits of Instagram, stood in the queue lines, you're doing little bits and bobs. So I would recommend bringing a battery pack with you uh, and one of the cables. You can bring it in your pocket or Laura normally puts it in a little lounge fly bag, but definitely a little bit of a battery pack will be a bit of a saver for you if you're on your phone a lot as well it's, uh, they do go down quite quick especially in the heat the battery seems to go even quicker so give mine a little bit of a boost on the way in so if you've got one bring it with you if you don't use it that's great but i see so many people stood in the lines with them plugged in because the disney uh, the disney app zaps it and then you know social media going on wi-fi and stuff soon goes one of my favourite entrances to a park, this. It never used to be one of my favourites, Epcot, but it really has grown on me. I get the nice little tingles as I walk in now, mainly because of Guardians. That is now my favourite ride. And recently, it's just given me uh, some really good, happy memories. Epcot yeah. just gives me good feels. You really like it, haven't you, lately? And I, I, really, I really see it as like, an e like what we're doing now, an Absolutely. evening, afternoon Absolutely. place. You come in, you can have a bite to eat. I love the bites of food normally, of food and wine. I like a bit of Ratatouille, you can do the Skyliner, you can even jump on the monorail from here, walking around the lake, I don't know, it just gives me good, I just like walking around it as well. Yeah. It'd be even nicer when all those walls are removed, oh the God. construction's the finished, Moana's open, it'll be a nice tree area, really looking forward to that, but it's shot right up at Epcot in Mutton, never used to really do it for me, but uh, right wow. up there. The only thing I would change, people always ask what would we change, and I've, th I've thought about it. I would bring back the original test track. Oh, you not the new. You, you talked about it. I always it talk came, about and it. This test track and it does this and it does this and I went all that and I was like, yeah. You got really excited over not and you, and you come up. You went, they've changed it, they've ruined it, they took parts out of it. That's not what yeah. it was. No, it's um, they did ruin it for me. I like the old school one. You go through the spray booth and yeah. stuff. It's too old, techy, and it doesn't really do it for me now. But yeah, if they had the original test track, it would be even more right up there for me. Well, let me know in the comments, old or new test track, everyone. Old or new, I'm going to go with old, 100%. 100%, I find the new one really boring. Yeah, it's just... You know, the build-up's quite good, design your car, and then you get on it, and it's just a bit meh. You go, yeah, you just drive through the dark. The, the old one used to go through a spray booth, it would mist at you, you'd go through a heater, which would dry the paint, and it it's was really good. Test. Yeah, it was just, I found the old one a bit more interesting, but there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Just going to get everyone into the park. And then, I don't know where we're going to head first with Jude. It might be Finding Nemo. He loves that. Oh, definitely. We haven't done Space of Earth yet this trip. No, we haven't. Oh, no, we haven't done it. Well, that is super cute. The little dogs are getting one of those zoom-in pictures outside the Epcot ball. They are gorgeous little doggos, them. Super cute. Little service dogs. They're awesome. So what, uh, what are we gonna do first? That's the question. Let's have a little look-see. So we mentioned Space Your Path. It's only a 15 minute wait. So we're gonna go and do it. Gotta be done. Gotta be done as tradition, this Laura. Tradition. This and a bit of Carousel of Progress is uh, tradition. For your safety, remain your skin and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And please don't explain your problem while we give with your time travel coordinates. Thank you. 
Okay, so just had a great ride on Spaceship Earth. You look really good, Laura, in the picture, I must say. I tried to keep looking up and smiling, but it must have caught me in a bad moment because I'm just like that. I don't think it takes the picture where it says it does. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we were wondering why on my um, app it did say that I could join the virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy at 6 o'clock, which was really strange. I'd never seen one released at that time before. Um, so my sister went to Guest Relations and asked them because only me and Laura were eligible. And it turns out that because we stayed on resort, uh, we are part of this. So we're a part of the extended evening hours for guests of Disney Deluxe Resorts. Ooh. So because we stayed in the Deluxe Resort, we can stay in here tonight from nine till 11. So last week we were like, oh, they all get to stay. We got, remember we couldn't ride? Yeah. Because we got, uh, it was nine o'clock. We all got kicked out. Well, we're the special we can actually now. stay. I didn't know this. So we can, actually, so we got early entry this morning and we can use it for the, the extended hours tonight. So we're going to try and join the virtual queue for Guardians. We'll have a second ride on that, maybe. And we might even stay for the extra two hours because yeah. it's only the deluxe resorts. I know. That'd be really cool. We didn't even realise at all. So that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? That'd be amazing, yeah. We might see. We'll see how we get on. See how we get on. But very exciting. That's another perk, isn't it, to staying in those resorts. Oh, two hours extra two hours inside the park. And I think so many are going to leave after the fireworks. Yeah. So we're just currently mooching in the shop, picking up some bits for a giveaway. So we're going to be giving away these ears, which is the same as Laura's, this uh, 100 lounge fly uh, bag. And then we're just looking for a mug or something like that uh, for a bit more of a man manly prize. The difference with this bag is it's got 
special case for ears. ears. So you can put your ears in there and do the zip around it and you have your own ears on it. It's, yeah. uh, it's a special one that. And you can, I think that the idea is you get the matching ears to go with the bag yeah. and then that, but we wanted to give away these ears that Laura has been wearing all this trip. And yeah. uh, so just gonna try and find a little mug or something. And then uh, we're gonna be doing that little giveaway. So we're just debating what mugs to go for. I've eyed that one up the whole time. So I think that might be one for the giveaway and one for us as well. Definitely, yeah. Stuff that we've liked. This is all from the home range. I quite like that. We're also debating that one there. Hit the snooze. I like that one's quite good. And also this one here. I'm just here for the snacks. I think that one's quite good with the spoon on the side. But yeah, I think we'll go for, this is quite nice and neutral. I think we'll go for one of them, the ears and the rucksack. So uh, make sure you do enter the giveaway if it's still running while you're watching this. You've got to be obviously watching uh, quite recently when the vlogs go out. Uh, so it may have already finished. But yeah, if you're watching it in real time, make sure you enter. There's some three very good prizes there. Well, giveaway all purchased. I'm looking forward to, uh, is that the easiest way for us to give back to you who watch us, tune in, comment along, support us and everything. So it's the easiest and fairest way for us to give back. And I think there's a few great prizes there. So uh, we did uh, notice that uh, speaking to uh, the lovely cashier who was Australian and I said I've heard a lot more Australian accents this trip. She said yeah there's a lot of people here doing the college programme, a lot of people extended the college programme as well. That's what uh, that lady had done. And then I said I've also heard a few more guests with an Australian accent. He said, she said yeah there is more Australians uh, coming over to Florida now which is nice, particularly to Disney World. So if you are uh, watching from Australia or you are Australian it's, it's nice to hear your accents in the parks it's nice to hear a big mix not often you hear Australian over here so that's why I noticed it this trip but uh, yeah we're coming close to our Guardians time which will be good and I had something else to mention I can't remember what it was now something from the shop oh they did oh when X hours the food places on it yeah so that's one other thing to bear in mind the lovely lady was there said is it quiet tonight uh, with the extra hours she said yeah you'll have a great time but remember there are no food outlets open at all so if you're gonna do those uh, deluxe extra hours for a couple of hours uh, there is no food places open so bear that in mind it might be worth grabbing a drink it's probably what we'll do we'll have it with us in our bag the main store there is open and all the rides but if you think you're gonna grab a nice little snack and things no food venues open uh, so do bear that one in mind We'll uh, wait for the rest of the family and uh, go and jump on Guardians, I think. Okay, everyone, so a slight change of plan. We've come across to Soaring because it's a low wait time and we're going to save our Guardians. We haven't got to go on it right now. We've got an hour window to go on. So we've come across to Soaring to do this first. The latest uh, window of arrival had just opened for Guardians as well, so the queue was quite long, so we decided to switch it up and uh, come across to Soaring instead. Feeling good, I could do with the drinking a little bit. Your yeah, throat goes quite dry when it's this hot. I wish they'd done ICs in here. Oh yeah, IC would be nice. They could do some special Disney ones as well, couldn't they? What we've been finding is um, some of our lungs, we have got a little bit of a cough and it's all down to, you're going from hot, warm, humid, moist air outside to then dry, cold air con, recirculated air inside over and over and over throughout the day it can get a little bit set to your lungs. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Soaring. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. Hello and welcome to Soar. I can't get past his, uh, his, very his very unique voice. We were just chatting, I think eventually they may update that 
and make the transitions a bit nicer, show a bit different things on the screen, but right now they don't need to. So it's, uh, it's just as a, a classic as it is. But I remember when it came out in the day, that was mega, wasn't it? I was wasn't like, here. Well, that was mega when it came out, wasn't it? Dad saw him. Yeah, saw him, yeah, yeah. Like three hour waits and everything, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. It was the bee's knees, and that was like flight of passages now, wasn't it, when that yeah. came out? But now things have moved on. Yeah, I think eventually they might update it, but for now they don't need to. They've got enough going on, as you can see right in front of you with all the construction. And I'm sure uh, Guardians cost them a pretty penny, so I don't think they need to do anything just now. So we're going across to Guardians of the Galaxy. You're still hoping for September then, Dad? Uh, yeah, that's the song I'm after. I'll okay. Up for everybody wants to rule the world. Okay, yeah, it is a good one. Or it is a good one. Okay. One way or another. Oh, oh, we're going to wait and maybe see. Maybe something different, I don't know, you know? Uh, there's the other one, isn't it? I ran so far away, that's another one. That's another one. I haven't had, I've never had that one. But yeah, September I want. That's it. Right. For sure. We'll see what we get. We'll try for you. We'll try. I'm sending up the signals to give you September. Does anyone know what they're actually putting in to our left here? So it's all Moana-themed gardens and things that you'll walk oh, through. Some other eateries, like drinkeries. I don't know whether there's an attraction going in as well. New toilets. There's a big artist rendering of what's going on in there online that you can check out. It does look nice what they're doing with it. It's going to be all sort of futuristic, but Moana and flowers and trees and nice... I think it's like a garden on a few levels. Yeah, I think so. By the looks of it. It looks nice. It's taking its time, but I think it'll be good when it's done. I've got to say, there's been some time on it already. Yeah. And you're, are you sure you don't want to do this, Laura? You are not. You keep asking me, can no. we do no Can chance. we do figments? I know, we'd love it. Jude. Yeah, a Jude would love that. And we've forgotten all about it as well. Wow, so it is a very busy night tonight on Guardians. You've got the virtual queue line starting all the way out here. That is very busy. I don't know whether maybe it's gone down at some point, which has caused a bit of a backlog, but that is very, very long. I've never seen the virtual queue line all the way out here. Never. So maybe it went down for a little while, bit of a backlog. Looking very busy. Well, we're about to find out what's going on. I think this maybe went down a little bit earlier which did cause this bit of a backlog. A lot of people turning up to their virtual queue groups and uh, look at the length. I mean, it could actually still be down now. We'll find out. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe, which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years. Assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. Welcome, Epcot Terrence. I am Centurion Tau Merrick and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. Oh, bring it on, bring it on. So the queue line was just normal. There was no breakdowns or anything. And the lightning lane worked extremely quickly. We were here in about 10 minutes, including the pre-shows. Uh, but the, the return times, the normal virtual queue was massive. But uh, Lightning Lane worked perfectly fine. You see, queue's nice and quiet, which it should be for the money you've paid. We've paid $17 per person, remember, for this. But it is a little treat. Love this ride. Oh, 
from existing. What have you done? What have we done? I think we're trying to So we're currently making a beeline towards the America Pavilion. We're a little bit late. The Commodores are on at eight. It's currently five to eight. I don't know whether we're going to get in, whether we might be able to catch a little bit stood outside. It's right over there, the other side of the lake, unfortunately. So it's a little bit of a trek. We've walked on ahead from mum and dad, just so we can text them when we get there as to whether we've got any chance of seeing anything of it. It's, it's always that way, isn't it? It always takes a little bit of time. I would probably advise not doing what we did there if you do really want to see, the, for example, this show, The Commodores, or something like that, and there is a show on, don't start trying to squeeze in rides before it. Just dedicate yourself. Go and get your seat nice and early, half an hour, an hour before, and sit and enjoy it. We try and squeeze too much in sometimes, and you pay the price because we're now going to sort of... Yeah, you can already see. So, you know, we're probably going to miss this or only see half of it. So if there is something you really want to see or a show or the fireworks, dedicate the time, make a decision and just say to yourself, right, we're going, sitting there early, I'm getting my drink and I'm watching the show because we sometimes push it a bit too much. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, because what you have to bear in mind is that a queue might be all oh, 15 minutes long and the show's on in an hour and you might think, oh, 50, the first thing you think of is 15 minutes, but that's 15 minutes to get on, then you've got a pre-show, then you've got a board. So you've got to walk to the event afterwards. Yeah. So what is a 15 minute queue line? Actually, it takes about half an hour to do the ride. Yeah. Here we go. So we've just reached the Garden Rocks. I don't think there's any seats left, but we can stand and enjoy. We've got a clear view of the stage. You can hear the music perfectly fine. So we might actually be able to sit as well, actually. We managed to catch it and get a seat they were brilliant it was really really good audio he to be fair sings better than lionel richie at the moment lionel richie but well, doesn't sound too great live when i've heard him recently but uh, he was brilliant they're all legends aren't they lionel richie's a legend but lionel richie is a legend tongue twisted 
but uh, he hasn't sounded so great when I've heard him live recently. But uh, he was brilliant, really good that, wasn't it? A bit of brick house, a bit of... Yeah, a bit of three times a lady, and it was quite intimate. It was small, we had a good view, even though we got in at the end, with a good little view. That was good, that. And don't be afraid, if you, uh, if you catch something you want to listen to, or you don't make it quite in time for a seat, they were letting people stand on the edge and listen in, and you could stand and listen and see easily as well. I was afraid to sit down and rest the feet while we could. It's becoming that nice time in Epcot when all the lights start coming on. Sun's going down and it's getting lit up in the background there. It looks stunning. The Epcot ball looks amazing. So just got myself a nice Coca-Cola fun from the outpost there. Gentleman was absolutely lovely asking about. A lot of them have been asking us where we're from because we're on your pass. So they get a bit confused at an English person or some with an English accent's got an annual pass because it's not super common. And it's only just recently, you know, that people not in the US could buy the, fa the annual passes again. So he's a lovely guy. But uh, you do get an annual pass discount on these. So although it says only merch, I found a few places now that do it on drinks and stuff as well. What he was saying was though, if you get, get it, the stuff from any of the booths uh, and you get annual pass discount, you have to pay by card because the discount ticks it to an odd number and they only have quarters for change. They don't have all the little de denominations. So you have to pay by card for the annual pass discount, but it's meant to only just be on merch, but I'm finding more and more bits for food and stuff. Mm. Nice this though, Coke slush, much needed. Still not cooling down so much, a little bit, but needs to cool a bit more, still stifling. So we're on the, the move to the China Pavilion. Ah, Lotus House, this is the one. I've seen a teriyaki skewer chicken thing that I want to try. So here we go. Lotus House is just outside the uh, China Pavilion. We'll give this one a go. Well, a gorgeous sunset to eat, hopefully, a gorgeous piece of food. This looks really good. We've got the uh, chicken skewer. So the chicken is marinated in like a spice and it's covered in like a peanut butter sauce, which is like a satay sauce. I think I'm going to like this. I think I'm going to enjoy it. Let's give it a go. Okay, let's give this a go. First bite. Nice. Very peanut buttery. Very. But then the bit of the spice on the chicken kicks through at the end. It's nice. Very peanut buttery. Very. You've got to like peanut butter for this. Very. Nice that, it was uh, very decadent, very peanut buttery as I said, but nice, the contrast of the spicy chicken at the end was nice, made me very thirsty though, very thirsty, I'm going to have to get another drink, I finished all that uh, Coca-Cola slush which was nice, wasn't very big though for uh, $5, but our chicken was good, I'm glad I didn't get two, I'm hungry enough for two but it was a bit um, very decadent, lovely but very I couldn't eat too much of it if that makes sense. It was tasty, I'd have that again. That'd be nice on a nice warm baguette. Yeah. Something like that, yeah, nice. I do like satay, I love spicy chicken and things like that, so it was right up my street. But heading out to Mexico Pavilion, because Laura's seen something that Laura might like to try, the food for free. And I'm going to get another drink and maybe something for me, I'll see if there's anything I fancy as well. Just going to have a little one. The fireworks are going to be starting soon, so getting quite busy around World Showcase now. You always get a view, as I said in a previous vlog when we came and watched this last week. Always get a view from somewhere, you never panic. Magic Kingdom is just bonkers for those fireworks here. You'll get a view no matter where you are on the lake. Okay, Laura, so tell us what you've got, what you think. You've just had your first bite, tell us what you've got. I've got a taco vampire rum, which is um, beef and it's corn tortilla, and a grilled Monty Black cheese, panchero sauce, and corn. Okay, so it's like um, so it's a corn tortilla, but with like cheese on the outside, and grilled, grilled yeah. and then beef in the middle. Amazing. Nice, it's got a nice crunch to it, I could hear. Oh, it's amazing, yeah, it's really fresh as well, really hot. And that's naturally gluten free, it does have it yeah. on the label as well, the little G for gluten free. Yeah. 
Well, I'm glad you like it. Are you going to have a little dip of the sauce? The sauce I've any good? I've just got that one now. We'll have a yeah, taste of that. a little taste of that. I think if you like your grilled cheeses and stuff, that looks good. Ah, well, good. Two good scores then we've had mm -hmm. on the uh, flower and garden. Yeah. Well, you enjoy the uh, fireworks. It's just, they've just announced that it's actually delayed due to technical difficulties, which is interesting. Never heard that for a fireworks show before. No. It's not cancelled, but delayed, they've said, which is uh, interesting. Okay, so we're currently at quarter past nine. The park has technically now closed. Uh, still no fireworks show, still technical difficulties. We've just come to test track because we are now valid to uh, go on the ride. You can see that they're scanning people's room cards and checking that they are in the deluxe resorts. Uh, but you can still see it's still 60 minutes. So I've asked the man, I said, is it still 60 even with, you know, the extra hours for the resort guests? And what he said was, because it's still only just quarter past nine, you've got a lot of regular day guests who've just joined the line before nine o'clock. So you bet you said come back in a bit, wait till about 10 when all of those regular day guests have been on and then that's when you're going to really feel the, the park reduce and you're going to have a lot less wait times. Yeah. So although it's from 9 until 11, don't expect at 9 o'clock to just walk on loads of rides because technically regular guests can join the line at 8.59. Yeah. Which they do, a lot of them do. Yeah, but once they've been through all that, they can't get on anything else. So I think from about quarter to 10, 10 is when you're going to see things drop to like 5 minutes, 10 minutes. 15 minutes so we're not going to enter the line now I'm not going to wait 50 minutes but we'll, we'll come back in a bit see if it's dropped down but uh, interesting to know interesting to see good little tips for you for yeah, definitely. pretty much the same as this morning although you've got early entry okay. don't expect to just be walking around having five yeah. minute waits it's I think it's more extra time in the park than, than like it's yeah, extra time for you to squeeze more rides in really rather than everything being a short wait I would yeah. say just gives you a bit more time of you know in the park feel a bit more special but really it's only at the very very start of the day and at the very end of the day where you're going to see those low wait times really okay so we're back at the lake still no fireworks yet but they've not officially cancelled them but i was just noticed my legs were really aching and my feet were killing me and i well. thought let's have interest just see how many steps we've done today I mean, we, we, we did do the Animal Kingdom, but then we, we sat for hours we did, we in the Animal Kingdom out. Lodge. So just before I show you all how many steps we've done, have a quick guess. Have a quick guess while you sat on the sofa with your partner and your family. All say now, how many steps do you think we've done? Animal Kingdom this morning, chilling at Animal Kingdom Lodge, back to the villa in the car, yeah. and then here. Okay, and, and everyone got their numbers? How many steps do you think? This is gonna, if anyone's not been to Florida before, this might open your eyes. So. Just in what we've done there, we've done, let me just focus, 20,548 steps. You would not think that, would you? No, no, it's crazy how many can do in a day. You would really not think, I would have said maybe 12, you know, a bit of Animal Kingdom and then we didn't do much this afternoon really. 20,000 steps so that's why it's so important make sure you've got your comfy shoes it's not a fashion show in here wear the comfiest clothing the comfiest shoes you've got whether it be flip-flop whatever you're comfortable in flip-flops walking boots sport trainers i always rarely say sport trainers with loads of padding and support on them but yeah you've got to stay comfy you're going to be doing at least 10,000 steps at least 10 I mean, and that's on a quiet day. So prepare for a lot of walking. Yeah. Uh, let me just see. I mean, I get an average of six hours and 30 minutes sleep as well. Not so much sleep, not much sleep and a lot of steps. Let's see what we're doing. Uh, I mean, yesterday we did 13,000. I'm just going to focus. Day before, 18,000. Day before that, 12, 21,000. Oh, wow. That was on Thursday this week. 12 the day before 17 the day before that so you can see these numbers let's see what we did on average this week on average we did 13,000 a day on average and this month we have been here for a good few weeks average 10,800 so wow. it, it's a lot it's a lot of steps you're gonna have busy days you're gonna park off prepare those feet yep. maybe get yourself a nice little uh, foot spa for the villa or the hotel room oh, nice. a bit of foot cream afterwards but yeah, you're going to put that mileage in, you're going to feel it in your legs. So if you want to increase your fitness before you come, we, 
when we know we're coming, we do try and like get something in and get something going. We do try, but we're so, so busy with work before we come these days. Back in the day when it was a bit more relaxed, we went vlogging and we were doing a bit less work with the business and stuff. We were, we joined the gym a couple of months before, get the fitness up, lose a bit of weight. And, but now with how busy we are, we don't get much chance of that. I do a lot of walking and steps anyway, yeah. filming and stuff. But yeah, if you can, if you've got that ability, increase your fitness before you come it will pay off bear in mind that's 20,000 steps today in between 95 and 100 degrees it's been today yeah they hit 100 degrees at one point 100 degrees 100 for an hour or so degrees, and then it was steady 95 yeah. plus humidity on top so bear that in mind increase that fitness if you can it's a big recommendation from me yeah. Uh, you will feel it in those little legs in your knees as well if, if you one of my knees is gone yeah if you get weak knees and things bring your knee supports if you get you know a dodgy ankle sometimes bring your little neck your little ankle support with you in case. have everything in case you know a weekend your ankle might be killing you have some straps and stuff if, if, if you're prone to that sort of thing yeah. if you're prone to corns and stuff like that on your feet as well let's get into it a bit can, of depth there <laughs> if you get ice packs and heat packs on the Walmart yeah. as well so yeah, you know, any little verrucas or anything like that, sort her out before you come because. Oh yeah, his corn really kicked off in Tenerife, and he couldn't couldn't do much at all. He wouldn't be able to do a theme park. So yeah, get yourself all sorted out and be prepared. Walk in your shoes as well. If you get new ones, a lot of people go, oh, "I've got nice new shoes for Florida." Break them in because if you don't break them in before you come, your first day will break them in, and you might pay the price on the second day with a few blisters. <laughs> So the line is still 60 minutes long. So we're gonna make a judgment call and that is to go home with mum and dad. Mum and dad have enjoyed a little beer. They've watched the fireworks. They're making their way to the front of the park. Yeah. So we're gonna, I know a lot of people are probably screaming at us down the screen, like what are you doing? Why are you leaving? Those extra minutes, those extra But hours. I mean, I'm not waiting 60 minutes for test track. We can't get on Guardians. So Guardians, you still have to join a virtual queue at six o'clock. You can't just walk on Guardians. We didn't manage to get that. Um, saw him we did earlier and I haven't got it in my legs to walk around to Frozen and some no. of the other stuff, so... It's sometimes just worth just going home. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather feel a little bit better tomorrow and get, you know, not a too late of a night than stay and just do my legs yeah. in completely. And I, I haven't got it in my legs either to, to wait in the queue for Test Track either, to be honest. So, unfortunately, the extra hours didn't quite work out for us. I mean, I think we probably would have seen more of a benefit if the fireworks were on time. Yeah. Um, we would have definitely seen nice, quiet walkways and you know, shown how quiet the park went. Yeah. But yeah, unfortunately, fireworks are just finished. There's a stampede towards the front of the park, but the lines are still very long. So I think don't expect, I don't even know how long, how low the wait times will go, even normally. I mean, 60 minutes still, even now at 9.45. Still a long time, isn't it? Long time. But no, come and enjoy the hours if you've got them. But I am absolutely my little legs. This gives you more flexibility, doesn't it? To say, oh, I can have next hour. In, yeah. In the school, then you fill it all. You can watch the fireworks, and then you know you've still yeah. got a few more rides you can do, which is yeah. nice. But I'm absolutely done in. The other big benefit of it is there's no sun. It's cooler. Can't get burned. Sun's gone. So you can walk around in the nice darkness, not yeah. getting burned, and, you know, go around the world showcase and stuff yeah. till 11. Yeah. But the thought of walking around if you said can you walk to the america pavilion now for a hundred dollars i don't know if my legs could do it I i'm dreading to walk back to the car alone So we've just met some lovely subscribers uh, from Miami and also Okeechobee. Yeehaw Junction, there you go. Uh, we see that quite often. It was lovely to chat with you all. And she gave us a good reminder. The lovely lady was a nurse over here. And she was saying, we see so many people nearly passing out. I've mentioned it before. Uh, she helped a pregnant lady earlier who was, you know, in a bad way. She was saying, make sure you drink plenty of water, but also buy those little electrolytes, rehydration tablets, 
get something with those uh, electrolytes in to be hydrated. A lot of things now, especially sports things, have got extra electrolytes in them. Yeah, like uh, this power eight here that we've just bought because I'm dead thirsty. Fifty percent more, but yeah, you can drink your water. It's great. That, that's good enough. But also, if you want to go the step further, bring over some. Um, you know the little powders you can put in or the little tablets just to boost your hydration you don't realize just how much uh, you're doing like us 20,000 steps then you've got the heat then you're doing rides and you're rushing around and you're not even thinking about how you're thirsty because you're so distracted but trust me drink plenty there's free fountains you can go to any of the food locations and ask for free iced water as well so bring a refillable bottle preferably one of those flask ones bring it with you Fill it up with the free ice water from the restaurants. Just stay hydrated. Put a little tablet in there if you want. Even bring those little cartons of squash to put a bit of flavor in. Yeah. But yeah, drink plenty, especially if you're coming in the summer. Drink plenty, you will definitely benefit from it. It was lovely to chat with them. It's uh, so lovely that we've got some American subscribers. So thank you very much if you're watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. Any of you American subscribers out there, thank you very much. And anyone is welcome to come and say hello to us. Uh, I think they just spotted us on the way out. We're just waiting for mum and dad. But it's nice to chat with you, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been nice. I enjoy it. I am ready for bed now, though. Boy, oh boy. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I did get home and absolutely pass out and forget to finish the vlog. It does become a bit of a pattern um, as we head further into the holiday. But a fantastic jam-packed day again. You saw how many steps we did. So, so busy. So, so active. If you are enjoying the vlogs, please do give a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe as well. There is more to come. Make sure you join the Night Strider Florida fan group on Facebook as well. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. Stride on.